Hello, I'm Sheila Averbuck from ENN Click here with another social media how-to video. Today we're talking about how to customize some of these buttons at the top of your Facebook brand page by um, adding your Instagram feed. So click the down arrow and then click the plus on any of these tabs here and you can then click find more apps and we're looking for an app called InstaTab. InstaTab just click that and then click the link on the right hand side which says visit app page. You can then click use now and if you are using Facebook as your page you'll have to continue as uh, you in order to insert this tab and then click install application. You can choose from the drop down list which of your pages you'd like to add the Instagram tab to and it really is pretty quick and easy. You simply have to um, wait for five seconds and then you will be brought to the, the admin page for the Instagram tab on your Facebook page. So click where it says administrator panel, click the drop down and then replace the word popular with your own Instagram name if you would like uh, users to be able to see your Instagram feed. So that's what I've done just there. It will show the um, images as um, uh, small size by default, but if you want you can change that to quarter or something larger. If you go back now to the uh, main page of your Facebook brand page, you'll see that it, that appears here with the default image, Instagram image. If you'd like to customize that, just click that down arrow again and then see the little pencil in the upper right hand corner. You can swap positions uh, with the um, other tabs if you like, so you can make it closer. Um, you can also um, change the image. I'll click Edit Settings, Custom tab, tab Image. I'm going to click Change and then click Edit. You should have a photo ready that's 111 pixels by 74 pixels and the max file size limit is 1 meg, although it's likely to be pretty small if it's, if it's so small. So I'm going to click Choose File and there is a, uh, an Instagram image that I've already prepared and it's a crocus. So I can actually just close this browser tab and go back to and click OK and it will have customized that image. You can then tidy that up to get rid of it and people coming then to your uh, Facebook page will see your Instagram tab and they can simply click on that in order to view your latest images. Instagram of course is owned by Facebook so they've made the integration pretty quick and easy. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you today. If you enjoyed this video you can find more social media how-tos at ennclick.com.